one and only supermarket we have. So here the prices are really for example they are super expensive. Yes. Yeah. If you have your unis card. Hi Sarah. My name is Marte. And today we're having a tour of Longevian. We will take you around the city and show you different shops and restaurants and different things you can do here in Longevian. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we Visit starting? Svalbard, huh? Visit Svalbard. Visit Svalbard. Okay, this is Visit Svalbard and here you can find all the touristic information you need. Also souvenirs and also city maps and bus schedule and so on. Let's go in. So for tours and trips and everything you can go to Visit Svalbard and there they have 72 different companies that offer different experiences and uh, tours. So if you want to check out for example like um, dog sledding or ice caving or kayaking or anything this boat is trips. the place a boat trips <laughs> this is the place to check out oh it's so cute it's so cute are there more yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to visit some of the souvenir shops and some of the sports shops here in Longenbin. So these are two of the souvenir shops. You can also find homemade stuff and paintings. And this one is a really nice one with even fur and jewelry. Nice for Christmas shopping. On all the different sports shops here in town, you can get 10 or 15% on all the different items in store if you have your Unis card. So here you don't have to take your shoes off. <laughs> um, so the hot fashion on Svalbard is to wear some of this smirch. Uh, like you have to kind of buy one when you're here. Yeah, <laughs> it's like everyone's super, wearing but it. But it's also super warm. And they're actually made from possum from New Zealand. <laughs> and they're super warm and super nice. Here, yeah. some gear, some carabiner, some knives. Some. Oh, is it pants? Yeah. Yeah, I have them. Are they good? They are really good. <laughs> Maybe? The color is nice. I have the glow <laughs> in this color. Where do we go next? Um, cool. Cool. Svalbard, we take it. Or should we show Svalbard in the bar? Oh, yeah. Svalbard, we Because can it show has such well. a cool name. Yeah. Yeah, what's the price for a student pair there? Okay. So 35 corners. Okay. And this is usually the place the students are gathering in the weekends. And or one of several places they are gathering. Yes. And then next weekend, I think, they like host student events sometimes. So next weekend is a Halloween party. So. Yay! Party. <laughs> oh, I should. And now, wow. Coop. <laughs> now we're going to the one and only supermarket in town, which is. Or Svalbard Boutique, as it's called. As you can see, it's not allowed to have uh, bring firearms inside the store. So then you should leave it in Alversletta or inside the weapon locker inside the store. But then you need to contact the staff. staff. Yeah. Should I yeah, buy some? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. That's why we're here. Um, you can also find non-food items like some beauty items and sanitary items it's called, right? And cleaning and yeah, household supplies, toilet paper, very important. <laughs> and 
this is uh, only at Svalbard. You don't find this one in the mainland. So this one you should try. It's very good. And there's polar bears they also sell tunmat here, so uh, if you want on the hike to have some warm food instead of cold food. Uh, and you just pour hot water in there. And then you have a very tasty meal. You can find the uh, grocery products for 50%. But <laughs> since, is but since it's Saturday morning, there's nothing here. <laughs> And also two planes didn't arrive last week, so some of the fresh stuff is already out of stock. Yeah. Uh, back in the beginning of the semester, they had like a lot of 18 packs of eggs that they sell, sold for like five kroners. So that everyone just filled the kitchen with eggs. But we also have some vegan options like the yogurt, coconut, or soy yogurt. It always depends on what's available. Are you a cook member? No, I'm not a coop member. Also, uh, if you have the possibility to become a coop member, you should become one because then you get all these deals on several uh, products in the store and you also save money by being a coop member. So like you save like 10 kroners per liter of milk, for example. Nice! Um, Didn't know that! Yes. <laughs> so like now I have the app oh. and then I can see different... I get different coupons every week. And then I can say, oh, I get six kroners off on this product, which That's is very cool. nice. But in general, the prices seem to be, or are a bit high. So this block of cheese is 150 kroners. So might think about budgeting while, while coming here. So when you go on hikes, a lot of people go on hikes all the time while the sun outside. Uh, cookies will be your friend. Um, I really like these ones, but a lot of my friends really like these. Or are they sweet or salty? Uh, these are more like oat crackers. It's not very. They're sweet. They're not that salty. Uh, but if you like salty crackers, I would recommend. Where are they? These. Ones. Uh, I was on a field trip with my Eunice course on a boat and I got a bit seasick and then salty crackers are very nice. <laughs> I can confirm that. Yes. I also like the blue ones, the cornwall. They are really oh, yeah, nice. That's very good. Yeah, and they are also nice with cheese. 10% on if berries. You're yeah, if you remember. Fruit and yeah. red. And right now we have a tropical fruit week. And it's really nice. Oh my god! It has pineapples! Pineapples are so Baby pineapples! They're cute! So there's a lot of fresh food here as well. So they also have a non-food area where you can buy everything from kitchen utensils, lunch boxes, and um, all tax-free stuff as well. And I bought a like protection screen because I broke my phone completely on a hike so that's here um, and chocolate got, the chocolate and chocolate okay, what chocolate is your favorite? The one my favorite chocolate is either just the pure uh, milky chocolate or these bags of oh. smash they are very good and I like the one with the quick lunch, but right now they don't have it. They don't have it. <gasps> no, no, quick lunch one. chocolate. What? I need to try this one. That's a new one. <laughs> I have not tried that one before. Mm. So you do the self checkout. And then I need to scan my coupon. This. And then you get everything. And then I get the discount. Where are we going now? Now we're going to Nordpole, where it's the only place you can buy alcohol. Here at Svalbard, when you live here for a whole semester, you get an alcohol card. So it's like you are allowed to buy so and so much hard liquor, strong wine, uh, beer cider and so on 
and whenever you buy it, then they clip your card. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, for example, you're allowed to buy like uh, 24 cans of beer for a month or something. So it is, even though it's like you're limited, it's quite enough. <laughs> like it's more than enough. And when you buy it at the bar, it's not counting. Yeah, that's also when you yeah. buy at the hotels or the bars or anything like that, it's not counted at all. So here the prices are way cheaper than on the mainland of Norway. Um, but so compared to Germany, for example, they are super expensive. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so for us it's very cheap, but for everyone else that comes here it's like, oh, this is expensive. <laughs> but do you know why there is an alcohol cart? I think it was because of the miners, that they were drinking so much alcohol when they had like yeah, a day off. And that's why it's only on heavy liquor and beer and not on wine, because the miners didn't drink any wine. So only the managers would drink wine, yeah. and therefore it wasn't limited on wine. <laughs> that's just super funny. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I think it's the reason, at least. Yeah, it is. I think it's the right explanation. Uh, so we don't have any like fast food places like you, you usually have here when you go out and you want some like night food. But they have a hot potato place, uh, which is everyone seems to love. I have not tried it yet because I've been close the times I wanted to try it. 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. <laughs> on Fridays to Saturdays. But then you're able to eat the normal hot potato, baked potato. Yes. <laughs> what do we have here? This is the post office. I think it's closed today since it's Saturday, but in every weekdays Weekday. it's open. Yes. Yeah. And right next to it, uh, so the, the building left from the entrance, is the Skattetarten, where you get a D number or do any other admin stuff if you're longer here than for half a year, I think. Yes. Or if you want to have a student job like us. Yeah. Also, when you move here and you want post to come to this address, you have to go to the uh, post office and let them know that you, your address, and then it will be sent to Eunice, where they have a post box for everyone. And when you receive packages, sometimes they will end up at Eunice, but sometimes you just get a letter that you have to pick it up here. Yeah, I have gotten letters at Eunice, and I've also gotten packages here, and it works fine. <laughs> Just got a text now, and they are saying that uh, it's maybe a polar bear on uh, Plateauberger, close to the uh, satellites, KSAT. Where did you get that text? Uh, it's from uh, all of Elversletta 2022. We have a messenger group, so everybody on Elversletta can be a member of the group. You just need a Facebook account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so make a Facebook uh, account. <laughs> Everything here is on Facebook. So if you don't have a Facebook, make sure you have one. You're not part of the society. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> here we have the Kultur Museum. And here we have the library and the cinema. And also a cafe. And usually on Mondays, you can also find the quizzes here uh, at Kultur Museum. How does the cinema work? Uh, usually I think it's every Sunday, then they are showing a new movie. Yes. So, and the movie is only showed once, so if you really want to see this movie, you should go on And also like that know day. in advance, like this is this um, Sunday that week, I'm going to see yeah. this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? We have the hospital. And um, they only do urgent stuff and minor stuff, if you have to do an operation and, or anything like that, you have to go all the way to the mainland, Tromsø. Um, but for smaller appointments, if you have an eye infection <laughs> or if you have other personal, smaller issues, they will help you. Um, so it's the only doctor in town? Yes, it's the only doctor in town and um, you have to call or show up. They don't like do appointments further in time, you have to do it on the day. Buddy. Buddy. Um, now we're going for a cup of coffee uh, at uh, Fruene, which is one of uh, several um, cafes in town. Is it several? I thought it was two. two. It's, two. <laughs> it's only two. It's okay. only two cafes here. It's this Fruene one. and the Husky Cafe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
here at Fruna every Thursday there's a knitting cafe. So then you get 50% off all wool, all gar yarn. Um, and it's super cozy and nice. So if you like knitting, please come on. <laughs> Just me and Bon appetit! <laughs> so that was our city tour of Longyearbyen and showing show you the highlights of the city, I guess. Yeah. See you next time. Thank you for watching!